Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create perspective grid effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful perspective grid effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, the simple perspective grid gives a 3D effect to your slides. There are multiple uses to this beautiful perspective grid. For example, whenever you want to draw a 3D object, you can always use this perspective grid as a floor so that your 3D objects stay grounded. If you want to create silhouettes of photos that you want to showcase, you can use this perspective grid to make these silhouettes stand out. The number of uses for the simple perspective grid is pretty much limitless. I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to create a simple perspective grid in a matter of seconds. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Rectangles, I'm going to pick up this Rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. Then let me go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. I'm going to right click on the shape, go to Format Shape, then use the option called Pattern Fill. As soon as I selected the Pattern Fill, you can see that one of the default patterns is shown here. I'm going to change the selection to something like this one called as Large Grid. Now I have got a simple grid effect. Now I'm going to change the color of the lines here. So I go to Foreground option. Instead of the default blue, I'm going to use black color. And naturally I'm going to leave the background as white. And now that we have a simple pattern available with us, we can create the beautiful perspective grid from this. A simple thing you need to do to add perspective to this patterned grid is to go to the effects option here. Under 3D rotation, go to presets. Under perspective, choose this preset called as perspective relaxed. As soon as I clicked on that one, you can see that the grid now has a beautiful perspective to it. Now, I don't really want this slanting in this angle. I want it to slant even further, almost as if it is lying parallel to the ground. So I'm going to go to Y rotation here. I'm going to click on the option called down a couple of times. So I'm going to click once, twice. Now this looks more like it, maybe once more. And now you can see that there is a beautiful angle to this perspective grid. Now I'm going to add something more. I'm going to add perspective by clicking on the option here called widen field of view. As I click on widen field of view, you can start to see the effect that it has on the grid. This is a beautiful effect that can be done so easily in PowerPoint, but takes a lot of effort in any other software. Now that we have this beautiful perspective grid, I'm not going to work with this as a shape. I'm going to convert this into a picture so that I can easily crop it and move it around without having to struggle with the heaviness of this shape. So I'm going to right click, go to cut, then I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it back as a picture. You can see that there are two options here, use destination theme and the other one is picture. So I'm going to click on picture. Now I'm going to select this, go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the Crop tool, and I'm going to crop the top portion. So I just retain a small thin strip here, and I'm going to click outside and the selection is done. I can always zoom out by going to the status bar here at the bottom, and I'm going to click on the zoom out option so that I can keep this entire shape inside the slide area so it is easy for me to work with it. Now I can always click and stretch it all the way down so that it touches the bottom edge of the slide. Now you can see that there is a beautiful 3D perspective. Now the best part about this is the more I extend this, the deeper that this three-dimensional view gets. The same way if I reduce the height, you can see that the three-dimensional view is shortened and we have a narrower perspective. Now with this done, all I need to do is to place my three-dimensional object here. Maybe I can uh, pick up this picture here, right click, copy, and then come down here. Maybe I can go to the same uh, normal view of my slide. So I can click on this one and I can right click and paste. And now you can see that this 
uh, globe has a beautiful floor to stay grounded now there is one more thing i can do i can select this grid go to the crop tool in format tab in powerpoint ribbon and crop this in such a way that there is no trapezoid shape to it i'm going to convert this into a rectangle like the way that you would observe just now and once it is done then i am going to extend the sides like so and now i have a beautiful floor which doesn't have the trapezoid shape and i can place any of my 3d scenes here without any trouble going back to the earlier view i can select this grid here press control c to copy go to a fresh slide like this and then go to arrange rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and then i can place this right along the top left corner of the slide zoom out and then resize it in such a way that the bottom corner touches the bottom edge of the slide then once again go back to this option called fit slide to current window and now i can always play with the vertical perspective grid and this is the exact effect i had used when i showed you this picture the same way you can have this to the right from the top from the bottom there are so many different ways you can work with this beautiful perspective grid so go ahead try this simple effect and see the kind of difference it makes to your slides if you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that i have been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel then you will really love our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program it is a structured way to master powerpoint Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the no more button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here, sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.